Every outlet has been saying that Tom Cruise is supposed to be playing superior Iron Man in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, that this is going to happen, however now they are saying that Tom Cruise has been cut from the movie altogether. Most outlets were saying that this movie would be about 3 hours or so long, but of course now Marvel had come out to tell us, hey no, the movie is 2 hours long. And some of these outlets are just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing if it sticks really and truly. But if Tom Cruise does play superior Iron Man in this movie, that's going to be a big bag for Tom Cruise. And with Tom Cruise's elite status of actors, and he's an incredible actor, but for Marvel then to turn around and cut Tom Cruise out of the movie makes no sense. If you're bringing in someone with his status, he has to be in the movie. Like, you're not going to spend... Just say, for instance, three or four million to bring Tom Cruise in for whatever cameo it is. If it is a cameo, just say he comes in. Why would you pay him that much money and then cut him out of the film? It makes zero sense. Now, I'm not saying Tom Cruise is in this movie 100% because they paid the bag to him and everything like that. No, I genuinely do not know if he is in it. What I'm saying is if they cut Tom Cruise out of this movie, if he is in it, they are basically losing money. Tom Cruise has so many fans that whatever movie he is in, it's going to get a lot of money because he has so many fans. There's very, very few actors that have hit that level right, as now, nowadays, that have those fans that has so many fans that will watch whatever movie it is. It could go from Tom Cruise being in Mission Impossible to Tom Cruise is in some shitty rom-com movie. And it would still make a ton of money because fans love Tom Cruise. 